Hey folks, how's it going? I know I'm a little bit late on this, but more details about the Pokemon Go and Pokemon TCG crossover has been revealed. So we'll be going over everything that's been announced in this video. Let's go over the cards first. From what's been released, we can see that there's going to be a mixture of both drawn artwork and 3D rendered Pokemon in a real life environment. For example, Eevee, Pikachu and Magikarp are all seen in the real life world, but Meltan, Chansey and Apom are all drawn. Glad to see they're bringing my boy Apom back for a set. And I really love that the artwork really captures the frustration of all the Pokeballs that you missed just trying to catch one Pokemon that keeps hitting or attacking or dodging out of the way. Mewtwo will also be getting a rather cool looking V card, but a less cool looking V star card. And the three team leaders, Spark, Blanche and Candela will all be getting their own trainer cards. They have also announced that Dragonite will also be getting a V-Star card, but they have yet to release the artwork for it. And we will be getting Radiant versions of Charizard, Venusaur and Blastoise, but again, the artwork for these is yet to be revealed. Well, that's enough of the cards, now on to the products. First we'll talk about the products that are coming out in English. First up we have the Pokemon Go Elite Trainer Box. This box will contain 10 Pokemon TCG Pokemon Go booster packs as well as a foil promo card featuring Mewtwo V. As well as any other Elite Trainer box, this box will also contain card sleeves, energy cards, player's guides, damage counter dice, coin, acrylic condition markers, acrylic V-Star marker, a collection box to hold everything in with 4 dividers to keep it organised, and a code card for the Pokemon Trading Card Game Live. This box will have a retail price of $49.99 US dollars and other prices are being shown on the screen now. Moving on to the Pokemon Go Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box Plus. This will be very similar to the Elite Trainer Box we just talked about but even more Elite. It will include 12 Pokemon TCG Pokemon Go Booster Packs and a full art foil promo card featuring Mewtwo V. It will contain card sleeves, a deck box, Pokemon TCG energy cards, a player's guide, a player rule book, six metal damage counter dice, a metal coin, metal condition markers, an acrylic V-Star marker, a collection box with four dividers, and a code card for the Pokemon training card game live. This will have a retail price of $64.99 US dollars. We will also be getting a Mewtwo V and Mel Metal V battle decks. Each one will include a new promo card for either Mewtwo or Mel Metal, and they will both include a ready to play 60 card deck. In these boxes also there will be three reference cards, a rule book, a single player player mat, damage counters, a large metallic coin, a deck box, a quick guide to unlock the strategies within, and a code card to play this deck online. You can find this for retail price at $14.99 US dollars. There will also be a product combining the two decks, this will be a Pokemon Go V Battle Deck. In this box it will contain both the Mewtwo V and the Mill Metal V Battle Decks with 60 cards each and again each deck will include a foil Pokemon V Mewtwo or a Mel Metal V. There will be 11 additional trainer cards including 5 foil cards but these have yet to be revealed as well as 2 Pokemon Go booster packs, a sticker sheet, 2 large metallic coins, 2 deck boxes, 2 strategy sheets, 2 single player player mats, 6 reference cards, damage counters, 1 guide and a code card for Pokemon CCG Live. This will be at retail price at $39.99. There will also be Pokemon Go special collection sets for Team Instinct, Team Mystic and Team Valor. Each one will contain a full art foil promo card featuring either Spark, Blanche or Candela depending on which one you buy, a deluxe pin featuring the emblem of either Team Instinct, Team Mystic or Team Valor, 6 Pokemon Go booster packs and a code card for the Pokemon TCG Live. These will be for retail price at $29.99. There will also be a smaller Pokemon Go collection for Alolan Executor V. This will include a foil promo card featuring Alolan Executor V as well as a jumbo size foil card. It will also contain 4 Pokemon Go booster packs as well as a code card for the Pokemon TCG Live. You can find this for retail price at $19.99. There will also be a Pokemon Go Premium Collection featuring Raging Eevee. In this product you can find a foil promo card featuring Raging Eevee, a deluxe pin featuring Raging Eevee, a play map with artwork featuring Raging Eevee, 
8 Pokemon Go booster packs and a code card for the Pokemon CCG Live. And all of this will be for retail price at $49.99. All of the products that I've said so far are all going to be released on July 1st, 2022. There will be Pokemon Go tins too! Each one will include a foil promo card featuring Pikachu, carrying a gift from the Pokemon Go game. And depending on which tin you go for, there will be an additional foil card featuring Pikachu, Snorlax or Blissey. Inside the tins there will be 4 Pokemon Go booster packs as well as a sticker sheet and a code card for the Pokemon TCG Live. You can get these for retail price at $19.99 and they will be released on July 15th 2022. And there will also be mini tins. In each tin you will find 2 Pokemon Go booster packs and a metallic coin with a Pokecoin design. It will also feature a Pokemon art card showing the art from the mini tin that you bought which you can collect and combine all 5. These will feature Magikarp, Blissey, Pikachu, Eevee and Snorlax. These will be set at retail price for $8.99 and they will be released on August 5th 2022. And then finally, the last English product will be a Pokemon Go Pokeball tin. These will be a Great Ball, a Pokeball and an Ultra Ball, the only three Pokeballs that you can get within the Pokemon Go game. And each tin will contain three Pokemon Go boost packs as well as two sticker sheets. These are going to be released on August 26th, 2022 and they will be going for retail price at $12.99. Now moving on to the Japanese products. There's only going to be two Japanese products being released alongside this Pokemon Go set. One of them being a Pokemon Go card file set. This will include the Pikachu promo card holding the gift from Pokemon Go that in English you can get from the Pokemon Go tins. But it will also contain a card file which you can store your cards away in and four Pokemon Go expansion packs. This will have a retail price of 1760 yen and will be released on June 17th 2022. The last product coming out in Japan will be a Pokemon Go special set. This will include a promo card of Mewtwo, which in English you'll be able to get in the battle decks. It will also contain a card box, 7 stickers, a display frame, a deck case and a Pokemon coin. It will also contain 6 Pokemon Go expansion packs. The suggested retail price for this will be 3,700 yen and the release date will again be June 17th, 2022. Now you may be wondering, is the Radiant Eevee and the free full art trainers of the three leaders an English exclusive? Not technically. If we take a closer look at the Japanese cards that have been revealed, we can see that the numbering on these four cards are actually within the set of the Pokemon Go expansion pack. So you will actually be able to find these four cards whilst opening the Pokemon Go booster packs in Japan, instead of them being in a separate product. Now here is where things get a bit sketchy for the Japanese side. Do you remember during the Pokemon 25th anniversary campaign over in Japan there were these promo packs and well they're, they're doing it again for this Pokemon Go set. Now if you're new to Pokemon Japanese cards and you have no idea what I'm on about don't worry I'll explain it. For every 4 boost packs that you buy in Japan you will receive 1 promo card pack. So if you buy a whole boost box which contains 20 booster packs you will receive 5 promo packs. Each booster pack only contains 1 card. And if the 25th anniversary promo pack campaign had anything to learn from is that these are searchable. All you need to do is shine a bright light through the back of the promo pack and you can see what card is inside. Now obviously people took advantage of this. They were then searching the packs and then selling the packs that had a worthless card in on eBay for a lot of money. But now you may think, well that's fine, I'm only going to pre-order a booster box and then I'll get the promo packs and just live with what I get off of there. Be wary about that. Not every website that you pre-order these booster boxes from will give you these promo packs. And that's just because they can just sell them for more money. Yeah, you are technically supposed to get 5 promo packs per booster box, but not every website would give you that. If the website is not saying that they will send the promo packs alongside your booster box then it's not a website worth buying from. Websites like Amazon Japan and Army Army are websites known to send out these promo packs. So if you are wanting to get your hands on some of these promo cards, go for websites like them. And don't succumb to the FOMO if you don't get your promo packs because most likely people are going to be selling them for like 20 to 30 quid on eBay and they're most likely going to be searched for the better cards. 
I've learned that lesson before. So just a bit more information regarding these promo packs. There will be seven types of promo cards. We don't really know what these are going to be, but there are some speculations that the Raging Charizard, Venusaur and Blastoise cards will be featured in these promo packs rather than in the actual booster box itself. But that is everything that has been revealed so far. But if you want to be kept updated on this set, please feel free to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Let me know what you think about this set in the comments down below, I'd love to hear your thoughts. And leave a like if you found this useful in any way. And with that, I hope to see you in the next video. Bye for now.